Okay, so... There's a lot going on with this, and it does not... Uh, uh, condemn one single individual. Uh, it's like a sleeper spell, you know. Uh, like, like the entire country had been put to sleep by this spell, and, and I, I empathize with because when you, see, when you see what I'm talking about, right, you'll know, right, that it's a fucking spell. And so the sleeper cells are not um, of the, of this uh, Demiurge. And Demiurge is basically contrived, right? Um, so is uh, an ar artifice which is the which you make up the word um, artificial um, which artificial will be the one thing that the soul actually does not favor is uh, because it alternates your being and we can give credit to uh, uh, young Pharaoh Allah Pharaoh Allah for saying that um, or first, before I did. Um, now think about, uh, everybody throws around the word government a lot, as to suggest that there's a government outside of yourself. And you'll see why the government, uh, or what we consider, what we call government, which is a corporate uniform code, uh, needs to um, operate operate under the guise the, of that which got you here. So, like they have o the Oval Office. When you occupy the Oval Office, you are an embryo. Um, it was put there by an acting member during Congress, right? Hopefully, after a smoking session, you, you know what I mean? Like, uh, let loose, you know? Don't be uh, so robotic, you know, as to adopt, like, exactly the thing. Because um, it's a combina combination of sex magic and... Um, energy symbolism the that whole thing with the Pythagorean with the key hole and the guy with the arms stretched out and everything like the tesseract thing um, it goes into energy symbolism it's just like it's a, so amazing that the energy actually generated by the uh, invention by the by the, by the craft is uh, um, actually generated by the archetype and the energy symbol itself. <coughs> the um, so the the sex magic thing it has to do with like a a huge a large nation. A powerful nation needs loyal subjects, and the sub the best way to have loyal subjects is if they revere their nation as a father or mother land, and that's only possible after being weaned, so after breastfeeding, right? So if you notice, like the references to um, Bobby Hammond made to the Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl halftime show with. Uh, What's his name? The the dancing dude from the Mickey Mouse Club that went on to become a famous like Usher. What's his name? Bringing sexy back, bringing back sexy. That guy. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they did the nip slip. It was a ritual, and they sort of weaned you 
uh, the public in a mass ritual, which anything that is conducted on mass is a ritual. Or I mean, all rituals are conducted on mass. And the Bobby Hammond's, you know, like that's why they have mass, and and it's called mass. It's like a mass to a mass. Like uh, matter is a very powerful word, and it's to a br a, a, br a bridge to the power of the word matter or ma, like ma. Um, where the okay, so yada yada. You have to see some other videos so I don't repeat myself because that could be an energy drain. Um, and uh, really powerful energy rituals are done with a base consciousness of light and dark as a pathology. And, and the Mayans, uh, which in the Mayans um, customs involved uh, ritualistic black and white face paint, like half and half, or you see like Native Americans and even black metal, like kind of with the paint, and you know it's kind of like a black and white. Or there was the the, the Black Sun Society and the and the Thule society, the Thule society, and in, in uh, Agartha and Sh Shambhala, whatever this uh, building is, sub pin, uh, submarine, sub pin, and uh, the Antarctica and shit. But uh, yeah, it's like it, I think it goes to I think it goes back to Akhenaten. There's a lot because um, well, Akhenaten is Metatron and Natar and uh, he tried to kick or he kicked Aphep out of their god pantheon the gods pantheon of the church of the priesthood there was a pre he he dismantled the old priesthood to take power uh, and start and began a new priesthood <clears throat> and that might have been the point where it's like the it was like a black priesthood white priesthood you know the white Gandalf and uh other shit like that there's a lot of shit like that well anyways i don't want to get into conspiracy theories i'm trying to say something about what happened recently is most recently that i've seen something involved with that which is okay i should ten, x x x temptation but um so i shouldn't do that though because there's more prevalent things in movies that we have watched that we haven't really thought about it um Um, one funny thing about an energy symbol or an archetypal energy symbol is because we've been looking for cold fission, cold fusion, and uh, when there's already cold fusion, we know it exists, why don't we put two and two together? Because the uh, semen, semens and ohms... Um, uh, have no friction whatsoever and they travel around in the opposite direction of each other in the in an onk um, with no resistivity whatsoever and it's an archetypal energy symbol so all that yapping yap yapping about um, paying somebody a trillion dollars if they come up with this life-saving was gonna save the world and things like that like that could be just a you know like that could be just a throw you all off from the Dejed from the from the print the, the Dejed is that principle based on um, absorption accumulation absorption and resonance in which you can generate energy in a geo electric uh, electro uh, geothermal and other implements, not just the same like kind of rig to get energy from the earth. Like one of the Dejed pillars was actually just a rounded out base with coated with uh, yak oil, and the pillar was uh, con connected with levees, which would have uh, um, the pillar was connected to 
not ropes, but you know what I'm saying, like, uh, um, there's these three, uh, straps, and they meet at one, and people, um, it amplifies the amount of manpower, but you can just get it up out of the earth, and with using the, the stones that have the most, uh, crystalline structure and fiery temp temposity then like basalt and granite with uh you can look it up the jedler it's where they get the national fiction of uh, star wars and it's the jedi um, <clears throat> it's a national fiction because it's a, a story about crystallization and you're looking for the crystallization in the national fiction to to be able to recognize it as such, then the crystallization is the crystallization of atmosphere when the mystery is put together um, later on with some addition by B uh, Benjamin Franklin and the Hellfire Committee and the, ninth, the um, Cult of the Nine Sisters or something where they <clears throat> uh, opened up the gates of hell. The thinker that um, uh, is a... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse all the clearing my throat. I've been doing that a lot recently. But the thinker was one um, part of an exhibit, a uh, sculpture exhibit, and it was part of this um, Hellfire Committee that Benjamin Franklin was in. I guess like a party or something contracted some artisan or something like that. But Benjamin Franklin was the thinker that opened the gates of hell to the subconscious of Minta when he was uh, collecting the archetypal sim symbolism from the rising in the Eastern Hemisphere, fucking around with dates, like specific dates that they wanted to, when um, that you establish nations based on powerful symbolism and numbers, which um, you derive uh, alphabet from the marriage between numbers and the deities, principles of the deities, which is an angle and we speak English. Yada, 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 I'm doing it now. <laughs> now I have to backtrack. Uh, okay, back to the sex magic and the energy symbolism in government because, okay, look at this word, right? Status is a government within itself. Um, to exploit mass hysteria is the only thing that an government outside of yourself could have any interest or value in because it is hyster hysterics right it's like chaos from chaos you get uh, order so they conduct rituals on mass and that's why they favored inventions that would exploit a like a, a funnel for attention mass media um A mass media outlet like the printing press and things like that okay uh, <clears throat> um, the mint and also the the mausoleums like the the okay it's a whole process of they recall your soul you're like brought back to be a subject uh, of um, the, your nation in the next world, a lot like the pharaonic double, like the Egyptians practice, and this is the new Atlantis in the West, ri uh, rising in the West. So they try, they try to, it's a race between certain factions of the Brits to try to um, uh, open up the uh, Camelot, and uh, like the English and like the. Kennedys and the Obamas and um, you know like Cam Camite and all that uh, the way they distracted you was by with the inner the green energy as of course you know energies are attached to colors and by um, disassociating the color from the right you know, they turn you into post-traumatic stress. Right? So it's a it's a tactic, an Alistair Crowley tactic. I think it's called like uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Do you, 
it's a very strange word. It sounds like mad cow disease. I forgot what it what it is. Something more about Meridian. Uh, and by the way, we need also a national fiction to like. In, so we have they they bond us as a nation. Uh, and there are chakra stories that relate the crystallization. So like Superman, you had uh, Kryptonite. Uh, <clears throat> so you know who went over this a lot is Brother Panic. Look up Brother Panic's old like uh, decoding movies and about a uh, chakra story or Kundalini, Kundalini story, occult movies. Um, Why am I getting off into this thing? <laughs> like, I feel like it's important for people to know. It, it gets used against you if we don't. It's not a big thing to, to like, it's not a big ordeal to be like, oh, no, we need to stop doing that or something or change it. Or you can't, you know what I mean? Like, the, the thing is, like, when recently there's been this big push to come up with um, a a heroine and they didn't like the ones that we had already because those are the patriarchy so they kind of like be, <clears throat> as you know Captain America was off with the Transformers fighting terrorists and fucking digging up Akhenaten I mean Akhenatar out in the desert and doing all the wrong things with you know with all the righteous will to to persevere and you know, they say all this, Transformers are real, like, high on their horse, like, but in, in, in they have, just have this message, and everything's always, like, courage, integrity, trustworthy, all the, and it's always a message and everything. Well, why would they have them fucking, you know, playing, ga basically playing political games and and uh, manipulating oil, pro oil like, do do currency with the, whatever that is over there I don't know it's the whole connected a mass logistical human supply chain fuck it sex caravans <clears throat> and it makes sense you know this is I think we have a chance to become something other than a sex caravan even though the roots are actually rich and uh, and um, that's why right because like I'm not concerning the the forebearers and of, of the United States as just being in a sex caravan of degenerate um, post-apocalyptic but in a and we just discovered new land and uh, and or something like that where they're running they're behaving like uh, buffoons or anything like that it's not that it's the possibility that that's what we could become you know is a sex caravan for supplies and as part and as and a, it's a sex caravan and party for supplies so I mean, it's like when they call humans that get together in like packs instead of like a pride or hunting, like we form, we form parties. I don't know, do you party? I kind of want to remember what the fuck I was angling at with this because I'm not, I don't want it to like poke at anybody to say that their culture is bad or anything like that. It's fucking the opposite. So they're coming up with the character that you're supposed to like or something. I don't know if they're giving her her own movie, but they want to replace Wonder Woman. I don't know why they think that I'm on some I'm I'm smoking crack or something. I don't know. 
I don't think to, I don't really think about shit like that, but I can see when it's like, oh, you know, why are you doing this now? You know, like Wonder Woman didn't sell out her country like like her um, counterpart, you know. And anyways, like to overlook her, right? To come out with this person with the crazy stare that you have to like, like you're doing it wrong. And uh, I don't really know any natural people who think like that. What do you want? Like they, they've, there's been roles that have only been occupied by women. Like cleaning up hotel rooms. And I don't know how many people wonder why they can't get a job at a hotel room if they're looking for a job cleaning up hotel rooms. But you always have to be a Mexican woman. Or there's only black women at, as a security guard at the back door of the cannabis club. When you walk into the cannabis club, they have an Asian man with a gun and a supermodel behind the desk and a black woman that's watching the door on the way out. She's the CIA. Uh, I mean, maybe that's the one you gotta watch, right? Like, and then there's when I was in Vallejo early in the morning, there like there's these joggers come by, and there's men and women running, lots of them, and all the women have night stick nightclub, what they call billy clubs, a wooden club like to beat somebody with, right? And it's a statement. I guess the night the waterfront was violent place at one time and they didn't feel safe. And it is illegal to amass with uh, weapons in a, in a sense to say like, if you're around here and it's with the fuckery that like, now we're gonna lace you up. So it doesn't, but since it's, like, you know, it's not since it's women. It's like, it has to be women, right? They pick them for this particular role. And then there's also something benign, I think. I don't know. But, um, Chris, Eric Hodgkinson, or Chris Hodgkinson, whatever, the, um, uh, Cardano CEO, he went to Ethiopia to train people how to use Haskell, the computer um, language Haskell. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's cold and I'm shivering. Uh, and the, I guess the president was like, oh, sure, cool, that's okay. But uh, you have to only take women in your classes. I Like, somebody's going to have to explain the logic, right? Because, like, who is that? What's that talk? What's that speak to? Is it? trying to give them an advantage or leg up or is it optics but anyway it's like how absurd I don't I never really got down that petty you know but things are just that way like is there some sort of risk that involves co-ed uh, professional relationships in certain fields Anyways, 24 minutes is long enough. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm cold. You guys probably thought I was on crack, so with all the shivering and shit. But I'm not scratching, so 